There's a great online resource if you're selling print-on-demand products and it's called Kittle. And in this video, I'm going to cover something that may not be super obvious. Kittle's got amazing resources and if I select this design, I can click on the actual picture and I can move the picture around. Now I can replace this picture as well. Over on the left hand side, there are elements and I can select the elements and I can add in elements into the design. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your own design. If you've got your own picture, you can also put that in a Kittle design. And like everything that Kittle does, it's super easy. Let me show you how. Okay, so let's say I want to use this design, Masters of Rock and Roll. I can simply click anywhere and I can move the pieces of the design around. I've got lots of text elements over on the right. But let's say I don't for whatever reason. Let's pretend I don't like this guitar. So I've got it clicked. I'm just going to click the delete button and it's going to completely remove it from my design. Let's say I want to add another guitar in there. So what I can do is on the left hand side there's this little menu and I'm going to go to the uploads button. And when I click the uploads button I'm going to have an option now to upload my own media. So I'm just going to go to a site here like SVG SILH and I'm going to pick this acoustic guitar. So I'm going to pick this and I'm going to click download PNG and that's going to go into my actual hard drive on my computer. Now I can select the upload media button and I can select it off of my computer. So there's my actual PNG file that I got from SVG SILH. I'll simply double click it and now it shows up as an upload. When I select it, it simply goes right into the design. I can now make it bigger. I can scale it. I can rotate it. I can do whatever I like with it. The one thing that you can't do is change the color of it because it's just a picture. If you want to change the color of it, you'd have to do it outside of Kittle. But if you like that design there, that is pretty easy. Now what I'd recommend to do as a workaround, if you can't change the, uh, the color of the guitar, then you can change the color of the background elements. So for example, the wings over on the right, I can change that color to black as well. I could make this a lot darker. I could make them red for example. I could make them blue. I can make them black. I can do whatever I like. So I'm going to make sure that this is black and so that I've got black and white. Now I'm going to upload a second guitar that's a different color. So on SVG SILH I'm going to select orange for example and that's going to change this to orange. I'm going to download that PNG now as an orange guitar. And now in Kittle I'll select upload media. I'll select the orange guitar now I've got a second orange guitar. I'll simply click it. It then loads in. I can then scale it to be the exact same size as the guitar I was working on. So I could make it as a nice shadow, for example, in the background. So I'll simply make it look exactly the same. I'll right click. I'll move it backwards, which actually pushes it down a level. And now I've got a nice shadow that I can use in my design. It's just that easy. Combining SVG, SILH and Kittle, unstoppable. I hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. This is a really easy way that you can scale up your designs and you can incorporate them into Kittle. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and if you've got a question as well, shoot it down in the comments section and I'm sure myself or the community can help out. Thanks a lot for watching and here's another video on how you can supercharge your adventures with Kittle.